you don't have no, attention for him. So how will you be able to decode when he's talking to you? I want you to bow down yourself today and say, Lord, take away that barrier. Take away that obstacle. Anything now that is standing between me and you, remove it. And this sickness is in Am I body. hearing some people's voice? Push me down. That says to Let's combine voice together and I, 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 I pray. Oh God, have mercy upon me. I want you Just to talk to Jesus. I want you to talk to your name of Jesus Christ. Set me free in the name of Jesus Christ. Every but nothing set in my life. will stand Start against my prayer today. Heart. I want to hear when you speak. Set me free my life. And wants to draw there me. There are some mistakes we have made in the time past. Make me not to have heard in mind. That is haunting the present time. Destination. Help there me are things we do. Powers in heaven or earth have been in the earth. That, that have become obstacle. Ability to decode. If it is God that is speaking, that is the devil. Deliver me from every trap of it the It is enemy. time for you to Help know now if it's God speaking or the devil speaking. Me. It's a multitude, multitude in the valley of the future. When they don't know what to do because you are not hearing, no direction. Which country should I go? Which one should I do? Who should I get married to? Everything has been lost up because we do not give chance to the Holy Spirit. Me and the devil has used this avenue to confuse people. They have used this avenue to impersonate God want himself. To be free. I want to be free. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so that's what we are doing tonight. Help me, O oh God. Deliver me, my father. Deliver me, O oh God. In the mighty name of In Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, we pray that as we want to start the prayer now, everything that will hinder us, that want to stand against us, that have been things you do not like about us, please, Lord, open our eyes to begin to remove them up now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take away faithlessness in Jesus' name. Amen. Take away lukewarmness Amen. in Jesus' name. Take away Amen. activity that does not have you in their curriculum in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy Spirit, Amen. ourself and yourself tonight. Speak to us. Give us direction. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' Thank name, you. we pray. Amen. I want you to pray now and tell the Lord that every power that has occupied my space, manipulating the voice of God in my life, I command you to shut up completely. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in name God bless of you. God name, God I bless come you. you. Open your mouth and pray. pray. May this solemn they are spirit of confusion. Of Every power in my life, every power from outside. They are spirit that lead people to hell. From without. When you don't know what to do. Thanks to my And you don't even know where to go. And deny God the space in my life, oh God. By the power and the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. But I cast them Somebody out, is destroy them, total desolation. In and Jesus I tell you, there is nothing you say here today that God will not hear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, only you will my pray. Father and my God, I stand Tonight, you will be able to differentiate be, between God's need and the devil's manipulation. Thank you. As Satan and all evil temptations. That will come my way and try to pull me down or put me in stagnancy, not knowing you, not allowing you to be fully implemented in my life. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, we pray. Jesus name. Amen. I want you to pay attention to this very dearly. Bible says, therefore. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. I want you to sit back now and pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You know, we Amen. often take this thing, we often take this thing 
as a physical statement. But I'm telling you that these, these words are never physical statement. No, not at all. They are complete spiritual statements. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Now look at it. You saw a fine dancer, and you, I, I like this sister, and I want to marry this sister. If it is God joining you together, I care less. If it is not God joining you together, I care less. All I know is that she is a sister, and I love that sister. Get her for me. She please help me well. Just like Samson said to Delilah. And so you proceed now. You go to the uh, you go to the committee. I want to marry this person. If that sister has a spirit of snake, if that brother brother is possessed by a demon, you do not even know. Give that for me. Give that to me, for she please help me well. So you proceed to the to, to, to the registry and you say, lawyer, oh yeah, uh, we want to marry. Oh yeah. Then the lawyer will say, bring your hand together. Then they join your hand together. I join you together. They say, uh, which one do you believe? You believe in Bible? You believe in demon? You believe in Quran? Bring those ones together. Then they join you. And they say, we have joined you together. And then you go to the church. You say, Pastor, please, wh where would you have time? So that you can march us together. You can, uh, uh, so that you can um, pronounce blessing on us. And then they will say, they have joined them together. And after that, you are married. And you begin to experience problem in the homes, problem, maybe problem from families, maybe problem from uh, 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 different people. Then you come out and say, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. My brother, that is not correct. The correct version is this one. When God saw Abraham, oh, when God saw Adam, he looks at it and says, no, it is not good for a man to be alone. He removed a, a, a Adam's bone, not from another person's bone. It was from Abraham's bone that generated his bone. If you are listening to me, say amen. Amen. God bless you. It was the bone amen. of Adam that was removed to form his bone. Now look at it today. People are beginning to struggle. Today, people are no longer interested in being patient at all. Once they discover that there is a brother, he has this one, he has that one, and this one. Now here comes a sister, a demon you don't know. She's using scars. Uh, a witch you don't, you don't know because her apparel is very comforting. Uh, then you see the way a disposition looks like, and uh, perhaps uh, even joining some work and all that. You don't know from where kingdom she emanated from. You don't know from, 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 from uh, 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 which of that planet she was sent to, uh, she was coming from. And then she will come and say, brother, good morning, sir. You know, the, the nice presentation and uh, the, the good comportment and, and everything. And you say, I want to marry this one. Without even seeking from God, without hearing from God, without direction from God, I love her. She's a prayer warrior. I like the way she prays. And then you move ahead. When you now move ahead now, and God is saying, woman, that is not your husband. And well, you can say that again, but this person is who I'm going to marry. And because of our prayerlessness, then you look at her, you say, uh, 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 does anybody forbid uh, uh, me getting married to this sister? My friend, let us move on. When you now get home, you begin to see different things. You begin to see different things happening in the home. You, you, you uh, Now, the, where you think you will have love, there are no love. Where you think there will be progress, there are no progress. Then you begin to uh, experience spirit of dryness. You begin to experience spirit of retrogression. You begin to experience different kind of activity going on in that same house. And God is telling that sister, listen to me. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You are taking another man's bone. 
you are taking from another person's kingdom. You are coming from another territory to, to, to embezzle. You are coming to return from another territory. That is not your wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, not what lawyer has joined together, what God has joined together, not what pastor has joined together, what God has joined together, not what community has joined together, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. And there are manipulations everywhere. You will see a brother manipulating a sister to get married to. You see a sister manipulating a brother so that they can marry together. Now, you, you, you partner with somebody, let's do this business together. You don't even know whom you are partner with. You don't know which messenger activates that person. Now, you come to partner together and do the same business together. But you discover that the business is just going down and going down. You are not making progress in that business. Who is that person you are discussing your matter to? Your, your matter with. And you will tell that person, you know what I want to do next? Um, uh, uh, one of my brother want to send me like some millions of naira. I want to go into family. Now you go, you, you do not even ask for God, Lord, is this your will for me to go into... Let me tell you a story of one man. That man did not know that he had been manipulated from their realm. He, he, he is doing well with his family. But then the, the, the mother remote control that man that the man had to tell his boss he said see i want to go back to village the man said what is the problem i will not pay you well why do you want to go to village okay you know what i will double your salary for you you don't have to go to the village the, 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 the little did they know that there is a manipulation somewhere that everything about him has been manipulated and he must control back to the village and he told the man no it's like you are not getting it if i go back to village there are a lot of things I will do. There are a lot of plantations. There are a lot of farming. When I begin to make money like this, you will know that the double salary you are talking about is little to, 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 to what I am talking about. And so the man went to village. When the man got to village, he planted rice of acres of land. When it's about to harvest that, 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 that rice, uh, they release a bird. They released some birds. Some birds came to invade that farm and devour everything he was about to have. Life was very tough. Life was turbulent for him. And he began to regret, oh, if I can have another chance to return back to where I'm coming from, nowhere again, he had been binded together. He could not even retrace back his step again. I tell you, manipulation everywhere. If you will not wait on God and see the face of God and ask God for direction, and you are certain of that direction, you will just discover you have ended up in error. And that error might not be retraceable. Amen. 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 You are going to pray tonight. Every spirit of manipulation that is operating in my family, every spirit that manipulates destiny, that want to manipulate my destiny, in the name of Jesus, I pray now that the blood will open and swallow them up. Shall we open our mouth and pray? My God and my Father, my Creator, my Maker. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of our I come before you. Let God open now. Let God open now. Let God open now and swallow them up. Every spirit of manipulation. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that every spirit of manipulation from the cup of the enemy into my life. I can't hear you pray. Many, many people are talking of what I just talked about, what I'm talking about. Cast them out of my life. People are manipulated everywhere. They manipulate you from the right path to the wrong path. In the name of Jesus Christ. The devil does not care how educated you may be. No power will be able to manage. The devil does not care how your parents are so troubled on you. Struggle. And at the time for you to begin to read the dividends of your struggle. And that enemy will stop us from nowhere and manipulate you into the marine arrangement. And then little will you know that you are married to a marine person. And life will become poor for you. Oh, my father. You will struggle and, and struggle and struggle. struggle. You will discover that, that the more you struggle, the more it's getting harder. The more it's getting tough. 
and yes, there will be peace in my home, peace in every home that is protected by me, peace in every home of my spiritual children. In the name of Jesus, in my Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, this, this, this topic we are to pray on. I tell you that if we are to pray on this topic for the next one year, we cannot exhaust it. I am telling you because there are cadres to this prayer. There are levels to this prayer. When you make mistake in life, there is another demon that is attached to that mistake. To go and frustrate whatever effort, to go and frustrate whatever you have built for years. This demon that I'm talking about, they don't have respect for wrecking whatever ability you think you have. They don't have respect for whatever capacity you think you have. Once you have gotten into that net of error, getting it, gotten into the net of mistake, uh -huh, it's like you have found yourself in that in their own territory. It, it's like it, it's what they call a lawful captive. You are buying yourself and you say, Here am I, enemy. Do whatever you have to do with me. Spirit of error. They are the same spirit that brings about spirit of mistake. The same spirit is responsible for the incubus spirit and the succubus spirit. That same spirit is the one that works with oneness in the life of children. When you make when, when you make mistake, there are a lot of things that will begin to unravel themselves and begin to, to subject you to different things. They are also the spirit that is responsible for you to take away your focus from the cross and take away your focus to another lane. You are going to pray tonight. Every spirit of error, every spirit of mistake that is assigned to bring me down in the name of Jesus, I destroy them by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Every Every spirit of mistake that is assigned to cause me to, to do error, to cause me to do error. What should I do? Where should I go? Father, Where can Lord, I start from? Where can I go? 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 Where can then you will know that yes, this is just well. speaking. The spirit to do what God wants me to do. The spirit to do what God wants me to do. The spirit to go where God wants in me to go. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let it come alive in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it I tell you, I tell you that in this, in the, amen. Jesus amen. I tell you that in this our prayer today. There is a voice that is always constant here. And that, that, that person is praying so seriously. And I therefore declare to your family that your family will experience breakthrough. Amen. Your family will experience breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. When we are talking about bone of your bone and flesh of your flesh, there is one man there. He has been praying for years. What will you have me do? What business can I do? And let me tell you something. That man knows nothing. He now slept one day, and the angel of God appeared to him. The angel of God appeared to him. He, that angel brought a new umbrella. What I'm talking about now is over 25 years ago. He brought a new umbrella. Somebody say umbrella. Umbrella. God bless you. He brought a new umbrella, umbrella in the dream. And a new umbrella. Man. God bless you, oh, sir. Lord. He pieces that umbrella, that the angel in the, in, in, in the dream, he pieces the umbrella and begins to train him in the dream how to assemble the umbrella. 
how to assemble the umbrella. After I finish assembling it, he will dismantle it again. He will begin to assemble it again. And when this man woke up, uh -uh, what is it that I saw? The man went to buy an umbrella. New umbrella. He dismantled the umbrella and reassembled the umbrella. My God, as this man shared testimony of what God has shown him, I tell you that through this umbrella, the man opened the shop. And people begin to come from different places. I want to repair my umbrella. I want to repair my umbrella. I want to repair my umbrella. My brother, that was a new beginning for that man. Amen? Amen. You are going to pray and tell me that thing you want me to do. That place you want me to go. That person you want me to marry. That person that is standing against me. Holy Spirit, open my eyes now and let me see. Let me see where to go. Let me see what to do. Let me see the enemy behind my scene. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God, my creator, my father. When God opened your eyes, you will father, not make a mistake. When, when God opened your eyes, he said, when I say there is a cast down, you will say there is a lifting down. When people say this situation is too difficult for me, you will say this is the happiest time of my life. Open my eyes. You will give me this life today, you will not have any reason to pray again. If you get it right today, you will not experience that flow in your life. That man that you have created, you will not find it difficult to get to that place God wants you to get to. Some people will struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle to get there. Some people cannot delay 10 years. Some people cannot delay 20 years. See how the children of Israel have delayed for 30 years. Oh God. But do you know that if God opens your eyes today, your journey will not be long. You will not be that you are there already. Receive unto me to see and to have my children. Open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. My father and my God, I will not to see right now. I surrender my life. And to live right in thy name. I want you to pray for yourself now. In what area do you want God to open your eyes? In what way do you want God to connect you? What is it you want God to do for you? Please open your mouth and ask.